That's right, people. My enunciator has come in finally. After probably about a month, because the guy was trying that was giving it to me, uh, I actually didn't have to buy it. He gave it to me for free. Uh, he was trying to find the part that I needed for it. Um, it wasn't like an eBay person or anything. It was one of my friends, and he was trying to get this to me, but he couldn't do it just in time because he had busy stuff to do because he is a fire alarm technician, and he had been working. You probably saw him in my very first system test question mark, you know, three question marks video. Before I knew if I was even getting a system or not, he was the one who gave me this entire system and most of its parts. But some, of course, come from eBay, as you might have seen. But anyway, as you can see, I have my enunciator. I'll go ahead and let you see it. You can't see the power light is on. Oh, whoops. I actually forgot. I need to put in my battery. Much. Now, if I go ahead and let's see what time it is. It is Tuesday. So, I need to put in two. It's p.m. right now, and it is 4.36, so I'm just going to put in 0.437. Yeah, you see it says trouble. Battery, I forgot to put that in. The DC battery. You can hear it, the piezo, of course, everyone. I know, it's the piezo, but it's in. I can do silence, and it says trouble silenced, and it'll go away eventually, and you can also see if I'm going to move my camera, the power light is beeping away, and there it goes, now it's done, you'll see that should go away, now it's normal, it says Tuesday p.m. 4.37, and I got this uh, two days ago actually, I got it at night, it was about 8 o'clock, I wired it up with the four conductor wire that goes in here and of course you see my panel now if I could I would move this but I've got my big light that's helping me make this video good yeah so it goes in there and it goes all the way I can move this again yeah, moving 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 oh gosh this is more difficult than I thought but yeah so here's the four conductor wire you see right here color coded of course because you put one wrong wire in ah, there we go you can have your enunciator and your panel smoke and I don't think I'd want that so I've been working I have been in programming oh goody I've only got three minutes left so oh wait um two seven enter so I'm now in programming mode, as you can see. I've been programming, actually, doing all these different types of things. So, um, yeah, you can see all these different things. Like, I have codes and all these different types of things. And then I can go ahead and this. And you see I'm in normal and all that kind of stuff. So it's really, really useful um information and stuff like that so I can now program my panel to what I want instead of having like a computer to program it or not even being able to program it at all currently has no troubles but um I have nothing hooked up because I'm gonna wait for you guys to vote on what I'm getting installed or what you guys want to see and so yeah so it's really nice and I really really enjoy this and so now I'll go ahead and um, my FCI is already pulled. I don't have the key for that yet. He's gonna also give that to me, but I'm gonna let you guys actually. Um, there we go. I'm gonna let you guys see it. I'm just. I just get my screwdriver and I just flip the switch. So it's zone five pull station, and that's actually correct. I've coded that right here. Zone five FCI MS two. Um. So yeah. Oh gosh. I don't need this anymore. I don't I don't need that anymore because that's why I have an enunciator. So now I'll go ahead and I can reset the alarm. The reset alarm it has been done. You can see memory. I can do display memory, enter, five full stations, and then I can clear the memory. Enter in the code. Oh, I thought I cleared the memory. 
There we go. No! What? Oh! That's why, because I didn't even reset it. That's a no-brainer. I didn't even reset it. Now, my battery's about to die, but so that means I'm going to go ahead and wire something. Or, not my battery, but this is my mom's camera. We both have co- Okay, so I was interrupted because it wasn't a battery fail. My memory card was running out. I My mom has the same camera as me. We both have Kodak Play Sports. But mine is an older version than hers. Hers is a newer version. Mine does not have macro mode. So that's why I'm using her camera. So she has a bunch of her environmental club stuff on it. But anyway, so now that I'm back and I just imported everything, you can see it's normal. You can obviously see what time it is now. Oh, no. I don't know if you can exactly read that so well. I'm, I might need to move my light or something. No, 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 I'm up. There we go. But anyway, so it's it's 5:56 now, or 4:56. I mean, so you can obviously tell it took a while. But as I was doing that, I installed this again. It's actually zone three. So there it is, and I'm going to test it. So you, I think you can see the LED at the top. I'm not sure. I'm struggling here. Okay, well, you can see the LED is on, but look what it does. I programmed this. Pre-alarm. It's going to be a false alarm most of the time, such as a kitchen. Also, the panel shows a three because of this. So if you don't, if you don't reset it in time, this is what happens. It basically just goes into alarm. And then it actually truly will go into alarm after that. So if you have like a kitchen, you're cooking, and say you burnt something and smoke comes out, you don't want to set off the fire alarm and scare, the, like you don't want to scare everyone. So what I did is I programmed it for at least 60 seconds. It depends. I'll have to teach my parents if I ever am going to install this how long it would be. Probably would down that to 30 seconds. But that's just for now because I just want to demonstrate. But it's a really cool feature, I would think. And I'm turning on my computer to show you guys how I program stuff. And so I just wanted to show you that's a really useful feature. So it doesn't set off false alarms. And if it does go off, since it did, it's it would be reporting and the fire alarms would be going off by now. And you would, you know, have to reset it. And then it shows a memory. But what you can do, you know, let me scoot, the, scoot this back. I'm going to redo it, not nearly as long, but I'm going to go ahead and clear the memory so it's normal. So now I'll go ahead and set it off. You've already seen how I've set it off before. I just, I stick this and I stick the screwdriver into the test hole and you'll see it'll go off, but I can do this. I can reset the alarm and look, it goes back to normal. It doesn't report doesn't sound any alarms and it just immediately goes back to normal like nothing ever happened doesn't show a memory or anything so that's why I like that feature because it wouldn't have to like my mom's maybe maybe even just making brownies because she does that sometimes like for her kids at school she'll do that at night when we all go to bed she'll just cook some brownies for the next like for the next day she's burnt them before and the like we heard something and smelled something but this could definitely be useful if it, we knew it was false, so instead of having to wake everyone up, it could be very, very useful for this kind of um, usage, and yeah. I have a mess of wires. I have a long wire, and I don't really have a place for it. So yeah, so hopefully, um, you can see this wall is a mess, because my sister used to be in this room, and she hang, she would hang like photos and anything with screws on the wall. That's right, screws. So... This wall is already ruined, so if you look up where that smoke detector is, probably going to put my smoke detector up there. And then I'm probably going to put my panel on this wall. 
and that's these are plans i don't know exactly if that's what's going to happen but yeah so you can obviously see it's a really useful feature that i have for this and then to go into programming mode you just do like two seven enter and then you would have to do your normal password and then i'm in programming mode you know you can obviously see all this you can press the silent slash step button twice you go to the main menu i'm going to go ahead and pull up that page that i need and of course i use google chrome i don't know why people wouldn't Tell me in the comments, Google Chrome is better than Mozilla Firefox and Internet Explorer. Is that true to you or false? Because I love Google Chrome. In fact, I have, a guinea, I have my guinea pig's picture on my home page. So let's see. I'll go to this website if I can uh, do this, luckily. Let me get this off. I just took it off my stand. Yep. You'll notice a bunch of dots on my screen, just ignore that. I'm going to get a new monitor. So here it is, the uh, actual... I'm going to hold this one-handed, but if I go to section 6... Um, almost there. Yeah, see, here's the what they show as this enunciator. It's the Model 5230, by the way. And so here's the original things. Wow, now my battery's about to die. You've got to be kidding me. But anyway, so here's where I can actually program. You can see all this information. Here's the easier step-by-step -step right here. Like, it shows you this. I actually have where I have when my, when this, when my, com when, like, my system starts, it actually does do a bell test. And I like that feature that I can do that. It'll be nice and easy. So that's like, um default stuff and options like code I actually have the code required at the panel because my friend used to mess with my panel and he almost messed it up so I did that and all this different stuff and like how long the um, display stays on the LCD and all that it's really really nice stuff so I went down to I believe section 24 I think well here's like codes and even stuff like that like default codes right there Stuff like that. You can just find this. If you have a 5207, this is where you can find all your information. Or 5204, just look it up. Uh, I don't know about these codes, by the way. I don't know why I didn't. I just showed you that. But those codes, if you ever try to use them, you can get in big trouble. Just going to tell you that. If you ever want to go out and try it, don't try it. You're going to get yourself in a huge lot of trouble. And I'm going to be not be responsible. But here's the words section. This is literally what shows on the LCD. It'd be like words, this is zone one, and you could choose what it says. You could say like back, front, south, all this type of stuff. And then like temporal patterns. I believe that's how you do, like you set your alarms in continuous. You guys tell me. I don't exactly know. This is brand new to me. Temporal patterns, I can do like how long I want my, um, like how it goes like on, off, on, off, on, off, and stuff like that. But yeah, so here's all this really nice information. So set it with words, and then if I can find just like deep um i think that's actually in 20 i think i went too far yeah here's delay so um for that use this step to program the duration of the pre-alarm delay it used to be 30 and i set it to 60 for 60 seconds i'm probably going to put it back down actually at 30 and then you go all the way actually i think they tell you where um yeah there's a step where you go i think all the way at the front um I think it's six point. Yeah, here it is. Pre-alarm delay. You choose your zone. It's at default, which is none, but you can go one through eight, and then you can choose your pre-alarm delay. And I selected zone three, which would be right here showing, and that allows pre-alarm delay for that. So it's really, really useful if you ever need a program. Get an enunciator. Like I know this is like the first generation enunciator, the uh, the 5230 for programming, but it's actually quite easy if you look on the manual and they show you these literally step-by-step -step programming so like I can try something for instance I'll go to 6.8 like I'll do step 6 sub step 8 and I'll do the pre-alarm delay so I can in fact I'll do it to zone 5 so you guys can see so uh, you press enter you can scroll through in fact I'm gonna put this back on the uh, or the uh, stand.
in there. There we go. Okay. So I can scroll. I'll go to um, 6.8. And so you see, there's the three that I was talking about. I'll go ahead and do five. And then I would do silence or step, or you want to do step. So you just basically press it twice. It goes to the main menu. Then you press clear, and then you're done. It's back to normal. So now when I mess with this, See, it's really easy programming. I'm not even kidding. That took a second. Flip the switch and look what it does. Actually, wait. No, I think I might have done the wrong zone. I don't know. It. You have to go like back. There's another spot, I believe, actually, where I have to program that. I'm not entirely sure. Um, that might actually be set as a different type of zone. So I might actually have to fix that as well because I think it is for smoke detectors that it sets it off. I don't know. That was, I thought I got it. I don't know what I did wrong exactly. I'll probably have to fix that. So, I'll go ahead and fix, I'll go ahead and reset it. Okay, that was delay. There we go. So, let's see. So, if I go back to 27, there you go. I'll go to. Okay, so it didn't save. So, I need to press 5. That's right. You need to press enter. And then I can do that. So, I believe that's what I need to do because they say you need to press enter when you're done. So. Let's try it. I don't, I just believe it didn't save. Otherwise, if it didn't do it right, yep, there it goes. See? So I'll go ahead and reset it. So yeah, so, actually, there we go. So yeah, so I forgot, I just need to save it by pressing enter. If you're ever going to do programming on the enunciator, this, this enunciator, you need to press enter when you're done doing something. It'll take you to the next step, and then it's already saved the other step that you did. So just a little note if you guys don't know how to do that, in case you guys ever mess that up. But yeah, so I just want to make, I know this isn't a quick video, I was about to say quick. This is not a quick video, but I just wanted to show you guys what I've done to my enunciator. There's more features that I've done, but I don't have time to show them. It would take me a little bit. So I really just wanted to say, um, I got my new enunciator, that'll be nice and handy, thank you for watching anyway, and, um, that's it for this video, thank you.